the world is in energy transition. Geothermal energy has great potential. However, there are challenges to exploit it. It is a subsurface resource. You need to invest a lot for exploration, and those investments are economically risky because we don't know what kind of resources we have on the subsurface. I have been conducting research in geospatial data analytics as a data scientist for more than 20 years. We decided to implement some of the methodologies that we developed for mining and oil gas exploration to use for geothermal exploration to tackle those challenges. We develop algorithms of machine learning and AI-based prediction systems to explore geothermal resources, and we call it energy resources intelligence. Because what we are doing is extracting knowledge from the Earth observation data and use that knowledge to predict geothermal resources. This is a huge innovation, and Clara School of Mines is a place where innovation thrives. Companies that will ultimately produce geothermal energy will look at the research results we produce and hopefully implement that into their exploration strategies to find more geothermal resources. In any data science application, there are three critical components. Those components are curating data according to the needs of the analysis. Second, finding or developing the right algorithms and incorporating those algorithms with the domain expertise. Based on our research, we found that existence of faults, land surface temperature, and indicator minerals, sometimes we call them mineral markers, are the, are the good parameters that we can use in prediction modeling. We can obtain these parameters from satellite images or Earth observation. We use, for instance, Landsat 8 for mapping surface temperature, HiMap and Aster for mapping indicator minerals, and the Sentinel-1 uh, for mapping the deformation. We will go out to the field and take samples. We'll take rock samples, bring those back into the lab laboratory and analyze them here on Mainz campus. So they will include identifying the mineralogical makeup of the rocks, but also their geochemical signature. We further use some machine learning analysis to extract the patterns in those data sets that could tell us the existence of a geothermal deposit. What I'm excited uh, really is more about uh, finding out what are the different algorithms that can be used for pattern analysis and pattern recognition, and then how that turns into something that we can uh, show to the world and, and uh, demonstrate that, yes, this is actually a, a, there's an opportunity here to improve our understanding of how to do exploration for geothermal energy. When we develop a predictive model using an artificial intelligence, the effective methods require labeling the data set. So in this case, we need some maps that are showing the footprint of geothermal sites and non-geothermal sites. This footprint for labeling the data to train the artificial intelligence, which is one of the most critical and important part of the AI algorithm. After labeling it, we use an artificial intelligence method to make a prediction of the geothermal reservoir. Of course, making a prediction is not enough. We need to check the accuracy of that prediction. Two sites, Nevada, are Brady and Desert Peak. We trained the AI system with the data from Desert Peak and then tested to check if it is predicting Brady, and we found really good results. Almost 80% of the area was predicted. We also collaborated with COSO, geothermal operation, in California, and we are currently testing the system with the data from COSO. 
Visualization and the virtual reality slash augmented reality aspect of this is, is important because it helps people experience the innovation that we're proposing. This allows investors and other decision makers to understand the results of our analysis. We can apply the same technique in the search for critical minerals or other minerals that we need for, for the green energy transition. That's part of the interest that I have as a, as a researcher, is to take this technology to other applications. Innovation comes from diversity in the disciplines and integrating very well with different disciplines, approaches. Not only collaboration of various disciplines, but also different universities in different countries should work together in this kind of uh, problem and the projects. We believe that our team is advancing in delivering these innovative solutions.